This is what it felt like to be the first female doctors in the United States. What we could have learned from women health leaders of the past. I'm an ER physician and I'm on a journey to understand and transform our health system. Maria Zakshevska was a midwife in Germany in the 1850s. She was successful. She was also frustrated by the barriers to leadership and impact that being a woman brought. So she moved to the United States. A family physician, however, here in the United States discouraged her and suggested that she become a nurse. She started earning money by knitting. She felt alone and frustrated until she ran into Elizabeth Blackwell, the first woman to earn a medical degree in the United States. Of course, as a man today, I can't pretend to understand what these women went through, but I am inspired and energized by their example. And there was a common thread that helped them get through the obstacles. Here's what they shared in this book. Marie Zakshevska stated that the day she met Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell, she wrote that I date my new life in America from that moment. Dr. Blackwell shared her plans with Maria Zakshevska to create a hospital and showed interest in her. Maria Zakshevska wrote that the cordiality with which she welcomed me as a co-worker, I can never describe or forget. All the days of disappointment were instantly forgotten. Today, as we strive to transform our health system, let's not underestimate the power of human connection. A kind word, encouragement, mentorship, reaching out. This stuff matters for health systems transformation.